During the early 90s, this Dallas native would begin her ascent to stardom by competing in the USWA. Please welcome Miss Texas. After winning several women's championships in USWA, she would explode on the national scene in WCW as Jacqueline. Bringing along a unique physical nature previously unseen in sports entertainment. This is the real deal. In the midst of rebuilding its women's division, WWE sought out Jacqueline, whose aggressive tactics would culminate in exhilarating matches with top-tier superstars, regardless of gender. I can be everybody, man or woman. Jacqueline, as tough as any female I've ever seen. She's a fierce competitor. Jacqueline would make sports entertainment history by becoming the first African-American to win the WWE Women's Championship. She did it! Jacqueline's won the women's title! Jacqueline's superiority would attract challengers, more specifically, Ivory, who wanted nothing more than to rip away Jacqueline's ultimate prize. Jackie, there's nothing more that I would love to do than to humiliate you in front of the entire world. You could beat me on my worst day. If you think you're woman enough, Will Ivory upset the Texas native and win the women's championship? Or will Jacqueline's dominance in the WWE continue? She's the best woman in WWE and is basically guaranteed to win here tonight. Well, she may very well be the toughest challenger that the champ has seen to date, Cole. WWE Women's Champion, and I think it's safe to say that she is as tough as any man on the roster today. Boy, that's the truth, Cole. And if you forget it, Jacqueline isn't afraid to remind you time in and time out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of WWE 2K17 2016 Hall of Fame. And look at this. Look at Ivory just whining and complaining like a spoiled brat. <laughs> Did you just see that? But anyways, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe today. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Links are down below. And here we go. It is the women's title match that took place on SmackDown. F. Jacqueline uh, defended the women's title against Ivory. Back in the ring now. Oh yeah. They these days give me great memories. I really miss these days. Oh shit. Not looking good for me. Not looking good. I believe that is the first time tonight we've seen that move. That might have hurt Now I'm about to get real serious. Up the turnbuckle goes Jacqueline. Come on, Jacqueline. There you go. Oh, I missed the drop kick. Of course, Jacqueline won the women's championship for the second time back in February when she defeated perhaps the most controversial women's come champion. On, come on, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Damn. What's not looking good for me. I mean, Take down my Jacqueline. Yeah, of course. I thought last year for Jacqueline being in the Hall of Fame, she deserved it. She definitely deserved it. 
I don't even know who, which next female wrestler is going to be in the Hall of Fame. I'm not sure if China's going to be in it, but I guess when the time is right, she will. There we go. Nice with the turnbuckle and oh, monkey flip by Jacqueline. But yeah, I remember seeing her the first time ever in uh, WCW. That was like when the women's division. They didn't have the women's belt anymore. I mean, they had it for a short period of time. They had the women's championship and the women's cruiserweight belt. But they never... They didn't use it ever again since in 97. And then, lo and behold, I guess Jacqueline just saw an opportunity with the World Wrestling Federation because Vince was going to reestablish the women's division. And I thought it was a good idea back in the day that Jacqueline would be the first African-American woman to win the women's title. It was a smart idea. Not yet for Sable to get the belt, but I thought Jacqueline getting it first in 98, it was a brilliant idea. Beautiful DDT by Jacqueline. Ivory, she was pretty good, Ivory. I thought she was very entertaining. I thought she was entertaining with this outfit and also with right to censor. <laughs> she won the woman's title like what? Three, four times, I believe. Oh yeah, I did security by Jacqueline. This match has taken so much out of her. Alright. Put it back on her up. This is another example of the hook suplex by Jacqueline. Picking up Ivory. Oh, not looking good. This is not looking good. Getting punched by Ivory. Oh. Go. Suplex! And nicely executed. And another suplex! That was perfect. Alright, let's drag Ivory in the middle of the ring. Here we go. Bliss. DDT! By God, Ivory's dead. There we go. One, two. There we go. Jacqueline beats Ivory to keep her women's championship on SmackDown. Matchup could have gone either way, King, but Jacqueline picked up the victory. Yeah, and she once again proved why she is the most dominant female on the roster today. Match wasn't too bad. Was not too bad at all. Well, thanks very much, guys, for watching my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and subscribe today. If you haven't, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Links are down below. The subscription box. We got one more episode. The Godfather go up against Papa Shango that they put the stage on WrestleMania 32 for some odd reason. It's going to be a very interesting match. Uh, the Godfather against Papa Shango. Uh, two personas that Charles White played in the past. So we're gonna, I'm just curious of how they're going to do this. So anyway, stay tuned for that. I'm CJ Hawk 85 and I'll see you guys soon.